Hi, this is PD at Bergzer Arcade at bergzerarcade.com and this is tutorial 186. Now when we left off in our last tutorial we had just implemented all the GUI parts of our uh, little hair changing uh, GUI. Uh, now let's start adding some functionality to it. So we're just going to stop that. I'm just going to unminimize or unmaximize on play and I'm going to head into mono develop and let's just go up to the top. There's a few things we're going to have to store here. Uh, one will be the index of the current mesh that we have loaded as well as uh, what hair color we're actually selecting. Uh, we could also store the color of the uh, texture uh, but since we have this enumeration down here we can just store the actual integer and uh, just use this enumeration to reference which one it is. So let's do that one first. Uh, I'm just going to come up to the top here. I'll just throw it right at the very start of our class. And I'm just going to make it public for now. Uh, and it's a type int. And I'm just going to say selected hair color. And I want to start that off at zero. So I'm going to come down to my constructor. And I'll set selected hair color to be zero. Gonna leave a space there and let's come down to where we actually change the hair color which will be uh, right here and let's start throwing this in an if block so we'll add functionality to the hair color textures and for now we're just going to debug out uh, what hair color it is well first I guess we'll just stick with the integer that we're actually going to be storing and let's just see if there's any errors and we'll start this up and now when we start clicking these textures I'll click on the first one we get a zero and the next one should be one and two three four and five okay now let's see if we can easily convert that to the name so I'm actually going to add my parentheses in here and actually, well, yeah, because we're going to want to save that off. So selected hair color equals CNT. And let's take this. And get the actual name of the color. Uh, so it was hair color names and we're going to put that out to a string and that should work just like that so at least now when we click on it instead of just getting a number uh, which of course we are storing we're just going to actually get the name and there we go black blonde brown light brown red and gray Let's head back into Mono Develop and let's start working on the meshes. So for the mesh, I'm just going to store an actual index itself. So I'll come up to the top here. And again, I'll start this off as being public. It will be an integer. And I'll just say selected hair mesh. And I am going to start that off as zero as well. And this one we're going to come down and that's right here, our previous and next hairstyles. Uh, so let's start off with the next one. So we'll put in the functionality for a button. And we'll just start off with the debug so we know that it is firing. And I'm just going to put a string in here and say next hair mesh and I'm also going to put in uh, the variable that we just made which was selected hair mesh 
So I'll just concat that onto the end. And actually, there's one more thing I want to do before that. I want to take that variable and increase it by one. And also check to see if we've gone over the total amount of hairs we have. And if we have, uh, wrap it around. So we're going to have to have a variable that tells us how many hairstyles we have. Now I already know I have 60. So I'm going to put that down here as well. And I'm just going to put it right under this one. And it'll be a private because I don't see a need to expose it. Number of hair meshes. And we'll put that down here. And that's equal to 60. And I see a small typo here in the variable. So I'm going to refactor it. And I want a capital O on the F, uh, of. And I'll just hit OK. And that should go through and change it everywhere, which it did. So I'll just copy this variable. And we'll paste it in here. So if selected hair mesh is greater than uh, number of hair meshes minus one, uh, number, whoops, it's selected hair mesh is equal to zero. And we really should call it selected hair mesh index or something like that, but we can refactor that as well a little bit later on. And it's going to take a while to completely wrap around. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and put it up here as well. This will give us an easier way to wrap because we can just uh, go to the negatives, which should put us to the positives. And then we'll go to uh, the end of them and wrap around again. So let me see. This one here, instead of since we're going to the previous hairstyle, we'll want to decrement. And of course, we'll want to check to see if we're less than zero. And if we are less than zero, then we'll want to set it equal to number of hair meshes minus one. And don't forget the semicolon. So we'll save that off. We're going to go back into Unity and we'll just hit clear and let's try it out so we got no error so i'm going to start off uh we'll go negative and it jumps right to 59 and of course if we just keep clicking we're at 56 55 uh let's make sure it works the other way so 56 57 58 59 then it wraps around and goes to zero so everything seems to be working that way uh, now we're going to want a way to load up the proper mesh. So I'm going to come right above the load hair color textures and I'll make another private void. Uh, let's call it uh, load hair mesh. And we don't need to take any variables for it. And it's pretty much the same thing as down here. I'm going to pass in a string and the string will be, sorry, I'm not passing the string. I'm going to create a string here and the string is going to lead to where the actual prefabs for my hair are. So let's go ahead and take a look in Unity. Uh, they're pretty much the exact same spot, but not quite. Instead of going into textures, I'm going to want to go into prefabs or sorry, just prefab. So we got that done and then of course we're also going to want a a mesh now i haven't actually created a variable to hold this mesh and while i am going to want to hold the mesh i'm going to come up here and make a public game object and i'm just going to call this hairstyle And we'll, uh, did I spell it all right? Just to make sure. Yes, I did. And I'll replace this here uh, with hairstyle. 
and same thing we'll use the path and this time instead of adding or going through this enumerator we have to somehow select the proper uh, name of the the mesh that we want so let's take a look how that's made up uh, it's hair space and then some numbering system that we have so let's start off with the hair space and sure we could use string format but for now I'm just going to use uh, concatenation and now we're going to want some numbers here and to be honest it would have been a lot easier if I would have saved these off without the zeros in front of them uh, and there's five in each one so let me pause the video here. I'm actually going to go through and erase all these zeros, the preceding zeros, and I'll be right back. Actually, we're already over 11 minutes in this video, so I'll actually, uh, we'll call this video done now. And when I come back in the next video, I'll have all my prefab names uh, changed over. So like, for instance, it'll be hair one underscore one, hair one underscore two. So just get rid of all the zeros in front of them. Anyway, that's it for this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.